Uh, it doesn't end there, though. Does not end there. We're going to go from the uh, the canine variety to the to the human variety. Y'all know these ladies <laughs> very well, and they. For some reason, they just never want to shut up. Well, this next one has been in the media, you know, for basically a, for the a beginning. long time. Yeah. Well, she started in the media towards the end of her Orn Pay uh, yeah. career, supposedly. Ex corn star Mia Khalifa forced to block loads of creeps after revealing she's single. You know, if you blocked more loads. You probably wouldn't have this problem. <laughs> now they're saying ex Pornhub star. Okay, first of all, she was mainstream. She did porn. the mainstream corn. Yeah, that that is you know top shelf porn. Yeah. And as your career you know sinks, you wind up on Pornhub and mm-hmm. oh ex hamster and what Red Tube. Those are yeah. the three big you know digital porns. How do I know that? It is what it is. Anyway, yeah, it's all good, man. <laughs> I don't judge you and your no fap flap ups. Hey, man, hey. My block button's never been exercised more. Zero faith in humanity remains. Well, yeah, whatever. You got plowed for money. This was two years ago, I believe. Yes, July 2021. Now, she sparks fury with marriage advice after her two divorces telling all women to leave these men. I believe she had three divorces. Uh, no, she was two divorces and three engagements. Ah, okay. Who were the three simps who decided to tie one on with this penis sheath? I have no idea. Ah, okay. I, what is? Are those, like, scars? What is? Oh, that? yeah, she has some of the worst fake tits I've ever seen. Look at those scars. Oh, these right here, these are not scars. Oh. They're, like, jewelry or something. Okay. Hoisting her uh, boobs yeah, yeah. up. I, I was going to, like, are those samurai sword, sword strikes? Or? She's always been very overrated in terms of her looks. Yeah, yeah. So, married twice, engaged a third time, took to TikTok to declare marriage isn't sacred. Well, it's not. Not to, not to you. Well, first <laughs> of all, it's not. There is no benefit for a dude to get married whatsoever. And why men are still doing it is, is beyond me. I am trying to get to those 5.1 idiots yep. out there who are still getting married every year at, at per thousand. It is what it is. I mean, get out of here. She was married at 18, divorced at 21. Married at 25, divorced at 28. Third engagement, engaged at 29, ended it at 30, but kept the ring. Mm -hmm. So basically, she is the last person on the planet who needs to be giving dating advice to anyone. Yeah, I mean, the only advice she should give is sex acts. Yeah. And she doesn't even know the real words. We should not be afraid to leave these men. We're not stuck with these people. Marriage is not a sanctimonious thing. You mean sacred thing? It's paperwork. It's a commitment you make to someone, but if you feel like you're not getting anything from that commitment and you're trying, you gotta go. You have to go. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, I mean, she's knocking on the wall now. Yeah. She's 30. Yeah, just wait 15 years from now. It's and everybody be a knows. Other animal. Everybody knows and everybody has seen the amount of kiaka that has been rammed through that taffy puller. Well, and also, like, I will not enter into any type of arrangement or relationship with a woman who's been divorced. Mm -hmm. I will not do it. Yep. Had to break somebody's heart recently. I tried to text this guy. Like, literally, she's been separated from her husband for like a week. I just wish he would respond to me and not just ghost me. I was like, why do you think he's doing it? Is, am I not cute enough? And I'm like, you want the truth or you want me to make you feel better? That's right. <laughs> we only deal in the truth. The truth is you failed the dick stacking test. Yeah. Yes, you're cool in a gimmick kind of way, but you are not cool in a permanent keep you around kind of way. Yeah. No one's going to introduce you to their family. Mm-hmm. Certainly not their mother. It's not going to happen. No. Sorry. (sighs) But then here comes the accountability dodge. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge accountability. Former corn star Mia Khalifa battles to have adult videos erased from websites. All right. Now, first of all, you signed a contract. Now, I understand women, they sign contracts all the time. They're called marriage contracts. And, and they re- violate them all the time. And they're rewarded handsomely for breaking those contracts. But there is another contract, a business contract. And she willingly signed these to do what she did yep. for Mune. 
And guess what? That uh, digital property is the people who own the contract, not you. Don't like it? Don't sign the contract? Don't take off your clothes for money? And yeah. The love of God, don't be a whore. Yeah, what the hell? The bottom line is, if you're a whore, people are going to judge you as such. Correct. You wear the you uniform. You cannot walk out into the public square at all in any way, shape, or form without being judged. That's right. And I sure as hell wouldn't do what she did and go out and expect not to be judged, let alone be respected and held up you know, in adulation. Fuck that. Yeah. Ugh, she shot 11 films working in the adult industry for three months when she was 21, claiming the adult company is promoting her six-year-old videos like they're new. <laughs> she got a petition with more than 1.6 million signatures with the hashtag Justice for Mia. Oh, hang on, hang on. All right. <clears throat> Give me a break. The reason they're advertising these as new is because you're constantly in the media and that's going to bring make people curious or bring yep. attention to your situation. And of course they're going to try to get, you know, get more money out of the whole thing. What's Why? hilarious? I mean, that's just good business sense. And what's hilarious is that it's her own narcissistic thirst for attention that allows them to do that. Mm-hmm. If she would just shut the hell up, it wouldn't be a problem now, would it? Well, it wouldn't be as bad of a problem. Yeah. I mean, and, th- there's, there's contracts on her life. In yeah. certain Muslim countries. Yes, there are. And I heard, and that was what I, I've read that in the media. I don't know if that's still viable, but... It probably is. Mm-hmm. They, uh, they like to hold a grudge over there in the Middle East. Oh, yes. Now, what really cracks me up, and this is where I have to call bullshit on everything that comes out of this woman's mouth, is that she says, corn is bad, they abused me, they used me like a masturbation dummy, they're awful, they're disgusting, blah, blah, blah. Well, then riddle me this, Sarah. Why do you keep using your porn name? Yeah. Because Mia Khalifa yeah. is not her real name. No, it's her not. Her real name is Sarah Jo Shamoon, born in Beirut, Lebanon, 1993. If she was so disgusted with how she was treated, why would she keep the name they gave her? Yeah, I know. I have no idea. Why? Because it's about the attention it's about the money. And listen, we're not doxing her. We're literally no. reading her name. This is all in, public. In a in a public a published document. This is all public information. Yeah, listen. It's available on megastarsbio.com. Mm-hmm. And she also went by Mia Kalista, Lebanese American media personality, celebrity, social media star, webcam model, movie actress. Oh, and she's not alone. Mm-hmm. There's another one out there doing the same crap. Although now that she uh, you know, got a stupid athlete to knock her up, her paycheck is basically assured. Lana Rhodes yep. wants all of her videos deleted. Uh, Good yeah. luck. <laughs> and she's only 24. Yep. Well, she was at the time that this was written. This was 2021, so she'll right. be 26 now. A lot of the videos I have no rights under. Otherwise, I probably would have deleted them all by now. Well, you were stupid enough to sign the contract, take off your clothes, and do how many how many different films was but the, it? But the, this is a classic example of these ladies not wanting to face accountability for oh, their yeah. actions. Listen, you make a decision. You take action. Every action has a consequence in some way, shape, or form. Because every action has an equal reaction. Exactly. That's how the universe works. Yep. And if you don't like it, move to a different universe, I guess. Sorry. And just like Mia, she's, I wanted to be illegal. Corden should be illegal. Sorry. After 250 films in eight months. Holy. Oh. Okay, hang on. She's had she had two hundred and fifty partners in eight months. Okay, hang on. And eight. some stupid NBA jagoff still thought it was a good idea to to knock her up and wife her up. Eight times thirty. Oh, hang on, hang on. Uh, this is You're trying to do like the the math per eight day. Times thirty uh, divided by two fifty. Um, That's more than one cock a day. It's point nine six cocks a day. Yeah. So, literally every day she was getting paid for the old in out, in out, in out, in out. The uh, she'd be illegal, but again, she still goes by Lana Rhodes, doesn't she? Yeah. Even though her real name is Amara Maple. 
So it's almost like <clears throat> they want the fame, they want the money, they want the notoriety, they want the attention, but they don't want the baggage that comes with it. And we call that accountability. If it isn't the consequences of your own actions. Listen, man, and she's 24 or 26, uh, 26 now. now, yeah. And uh, listen, it's never going to go away. It's out there forever. There's nothing you could do. Sorry. Yep. Wah. Wah. I mean, don't get me wrong. She, she still looks good. Yeah. But when you know what comes along with those looks, <laughs> they start to fade awful quick in your mind, even as she's standing right in front well, of you. Well, she becomes a gimmick. Exactly. That's it. And the best part of all. The absolute best part of all. They're telling young girls, this is the worst industry ever. They treated us like kids, like dogs. They're just the worst ever. Never, ever make porn. They're still doing it. Yep. Lana Rhodes has an OnlyFans. Mia Khalifa has an OnlyFans. (laughs) (laughs) Do as I say, not as I do. And for the love of God, give me money, but don't ask how I'm going to earn it. Yeah, okay. Well, listen... In all reality, that's all they can do. Mm-hmm. I mean, it is what it is. Okay. Right. I, I got it. It's yeah. still pathetic. <laughs> uh, yeah, especially <laughs> as they get older and they start looking their age and they're not going to get as much attention. And once they get near 40, they literally, most women become invisible. Yep. And that's what they're terrified of, I think. And that's why they're continuing down this road, even as everything they say is directly contradicted by everything they do. Mm-hmm. Uh, and yet, they still got one... Mia got 1.6 million women and simps to sign a petition to pull down all of her videos. <clears throat> wow. Okay. Well, first of all, that petition doesn't mean shit. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Because if she signed a contract, you know... Unless you have an argument to, you know, dispose of the contract, if you show up to court with a bunch of signatures, the judge is going to be like, get the hell out of here. I don't care. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, yeah, petitions don't mean anything next to a signed and notarized legal contract. Sorry, Mia. Sorry, Lana. Or Amara and Sarah, if you prefer. Actually, we know exactly what you prefer. You want attention. You want no accountability, no responsibility. But you still want all the money, and you still want to get naked for it. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, again, this is a classic example of them, you know, uh, trying to escape accountability. Yeah. That's not how the universe works. Modern women are just a walking contradiction. It's you mean stunning. A co- Listen, you mean a contradiction? A contradiction, That's yeah. That's right. It's stunning and brave when they sexualize and market themselves. Like, on YouTube. There are videos publicly available for children to watch without even signing in that show women like their lips hanging out down below yep. because they're just modeling clothes, right? But if you and I were to take that same video and comment on it, we would get a strike for public nudity. Correct. But despite the fact that these women are uh, modeling uh, playing cards with held together with duct tape mm-hmm. or you know, dental floss over certain things. Yep. Get out of here! And these same women are like, oh, men are trash. You need to leave these men. If it wasn't for men, where would you be? Yeah. All women could stop working tomorrow. This country would get along just fine. If all men stopped working tomorrow, Done. it would be in shambles. Done so. And you know what? That That's starting to happen. A lot of the red pill MGTOW guys, they're just working to take care of themselves. They, they, and I don't blame them. Why mm. would you re- reward a system that treats you like trash, throws you in prison, doesn't care if you're homeless, doesn't give you medical attention, nobody gives a shit about men? Why the hell are we contributing to the civil- civilization? We need to stop. Yeah. Because it's absolutely out of control. Mm-hmm. Men doing an honest day's work, Mm -hmm. busting their asses, going to the dirty, uncomfortable, and dangerous jobs, you know, where 95% of workforce deaths are men, Mm -hmm. every single day. They're vilified in the media, by the educational institutions they send their children to. Meanwhile, two walking glory holes (laughs) can just parade around with millions of eyes on them at all times. 
directly lying to every single person who manages to who actually casts them a glance of attention. Yes. And they're held up as stunning and brave for it. <laughs> you can't trust a word that comes out of their mouth what or going- comes in their mouth. Lit- oh my god. <laughs> Literally, this is just this is clown world, bizarre world, regardless I know. of money. I just oh, wow. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Support of Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat case of books.